A common question that's come up a number of times in regards to the biochar that we make in our wood stove is well, how do you crush it and pulverize it and how do you integrate it into your gardens and into your system. So I'm going to spend a very brief moment here talking about how we do so. <clears throat> might be surprisingly low-tech and very simple and I'd encourage you, I'm not going to go into how we make biochar in the wood stove, all that. I'll link right here to that video which goes over it in depth. This is more about how do we take it once it comes out of the stove and uh, get it useful in our system. So I'll share those notes. So in order for this charcoal to become useful agriculturally, in order, in other words, for this charcoal to become biochar, uh, it needs to be broken down physically a bit and also integrated with organic matter. So the easiest thing I'm figuring out to do over time bear with me, <clears throat> is just to take this material. I don't even worry about crushing it down super fine anymore. What I've learned is to simply dump it on a walkway. Very elegant, very, very elegant video shot there. Dump it on a walkway, chunky and all, right at the beginning of our chicken composting system. Two things get done almost automatically at this point. Every time I walk, I'm crushing it. Likewise with the chickens. It's getting worked into wood chips. And these wood chips ultimately will be scooped and sent onto this hot compost with food scraps. Chickens will scratch it, scratch it, scratch it, and it'll work its way in. And by the time it gets down the line, it's fully pulverized, it's integrated, and it's soaked up nutrients. It's the least tech way that I can find that seems to be very effective. Critical, critical things. Two things to share here. Number one, your charcoal absolutely has to be crystal cold. <laughs> Do not take it out of the wood stove and dump it on wood chips or dump it on hay. That's bad. Uh, we leave it in the garage for a day in those metal containers to absolutely cool down. You should be able to handle everything shouldn't even be warm. Don't set things on fire. And number two, the dust that comes off of it is pretty rough for lungs. So I, I, you notice I did it, the wind was going this way and there weren't chickens around. So I try to do it early morning or in the evening and I try to make sure I'm not breathing the fumes. You know, I just dump it out and walk away. Um, that's it, really straightforward. By all means add complexity if you want, but this crushes and uh, interacts, sets it up to interact with organic matter. Now I better get to actually turning some compost for these little beasts in the snow.